I wanted to tell you something about adverbs today, but there's a problem. Adverbs modify verbs, and you hardly know any verbs at all. We did learn ser, a star, and ear. While you can do a lot with just the verbs to be and to go, you're still severely limited, as would be any examples I made up to show you how adverbs work. So today, we're starting to write that wrong. Let's figure out how to conjugate present tense regular AR verbs. <laughs> Hola, yo soy Jordan, and this is a Spanish quickie. Fast, easy Spanish lessons from somebody who speaks your language. Before I start blabbering away, you'll understand everything a lot better if you're familiar with the material in the infinitive and conjugation, personal pronouns, the three and amigos, and formal conjugation. Seriously, if you don't know what an infinitive verb is or what conjugation is, you should really go back and watch those lessons before you watch this one. If I had videos like those available to me when I started, I wouldn't have failed Spanish the first time I took it. Okay, we know that in Spanish there are three types of verbs, AR, ER, and IR. Each type of verb has rules telling you how to conjugate it. AR verbs are conjugated one way, ER verbs another, and IR verbs yet another. But also for each type there are exceptions, verbs that don't follow the regular conjugation rules. Don't worry about them now, I just wanted you to be aware so you're not confused when you encounter them. Today, Specifically, we're only focusing on regular AR verbs in the present tense. We'll do ER and IR verbs and the exceptions for all three types later. Then past and future tense and a bunch of other crap even later. Let's use the word hablar for our first example today. Hablar means to speak or to talk. This won't be too hard if you already know how to conjugate a star and ear, even though it's an IR verb, which you should if you watched the three enemigos. A star is an irregular regular AR verb, but it's very close to regular. Ablar and all regular AR verbs conjugate almost exactly the same. There's just one difference. To conjugate an AR verb, you remove the AR from each box, then replace it with the correct ending. These are just rules you have to memorize. Ablo is I speak. That's the only difference between ablar and a star. Remember, a star conjugates to a stoy here. Everything else is the same though. Ablas is you speak. Abla is he he speaks, she speaks, it speaks, or you, formal, speak. Then on the other side, hablamos is we speak, hablais is you both speak, then hablan is they speak, or you both, formal, speak. Not so bad, right? Take off the ending, then add o here, as here, a here, amos here, ais here, then on here. So putting this word in a sentence in all the different forms, I speak Spanish is hablo espanol, you speak speak Spanish is hablas espanol, she speaks Spanish is ella habla espanol, we speak Spanish is hablamos espanol, you both speak Spanish is hablais espanol, and they speak Spanish is hablan espanol. Notice espanol doesn't have a capital E. Names of languages don't get capitalized in Spanish. Weird, eh? Now remember, all regular AR verbs have the same endings, so once you can conjugate hablar, you can conjugate yamar which is to call. So the conjugation for yamar would look like this. Remove the AR from each box, then add the appropriate endings. O here, A S here, A here, then amos, ais, and an. So I call is yamo, you call is yamas, it calls is yama, we call is yamamos, you both call is yamais, and they call is yaman. Yaman! That's it for today. In the next lesson, I'll teach you 10 of the most common AR verbs, words I use all the time in Spanish. But today, I really want you to concentrate on getting these endings memorized. Over at gringoespanol.com slash AR dash present, you'll find a blank conjugation sheet. Print a couple of those sheets, or dozens so you have them later, and use the conjugation strategy to memorize these endings. Once you can do hablar, you should be able to do llamar and every other regular AR verb in the world perfectly. So go to gringoespanol.com 
slash AR dash present, print the conjugation sheet, practice these conjugations, then get ready for the next lesson where we'll go over 10 of my favorite regular AR verbs to use. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you like my page. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to make sure 100% that you don't miss out on anything and get some extra stuff too, make sure you're subscribed to the Gringo Espanol newsletter over at gringoespanol.com slash free dash updates. I will see you next time. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. Thank <laughs> you.